I can be very shysty sometimes in my replies, but from what I remember, uh, no one has ever come to the channel and apologized for some nasty comment, or no one has ever shown remorse uh, for something that they have done, except that, alhamdulillah, we, we, you know, we were, I forgave them. Because I, I need Allah's forgiveness more than they do. That's just the reality of the situation. And you should feel the same way. I'm not saying this to praise myself, but I'm saying this to display uh, a reality that we should all reflect on. Because we know certain people that hold grudges against their own relatives, against their own parents, against their own uncles or aunts or cousins or nephews or whatever. Within the relative, you hold a grudge against someone and you don't forgive them no matter what they do. And that is not, not praiseworthy and that is not an Islamic behavior. And uh, you, if you really want Allah's forgiveness, then, then forgive the people because that's what Allah Azza wa Jal promised for those who forgive others that Allah Azza wa Jal will forgive them in return. And you know, what is, what is you forgiving someone versus Allah forgiving you? Your forgiveness to someone is useless. It's really, it's a small thing, but Allah forgiving you is a big deal. So make sure that you weigh these things out, you know, weigh them out. And, and if you have a grudge or a beef, with someone, with your neighbors, with your relatives, man, let it go. And, and those of you who are old enough uh, know what I'm talking about. You know, in life, subhanAllah, you, you, you come across so many conflicts with so many people, um, re repeated ones, frequent ones, uh, consistent ones, with random people or with people that are part of your life. And, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible way to live with grudges against others. You know? Like really, you got to learn how to let go and forgive so that you can move on with your life. You know, forgive people, like be able to forgive them. Those who have wronged you, work on forgiving them for Allah's sake, because you need that forgiveness more than anybody. You're more needy of, that, of Allah's forgiveness than they are needy of your forgiveness. What do you gain from holding a grudge? If people want to hurt you and they're not remorseful and you want your right extracted on Yawm al Qiyamah, you have the right. I'm talking specifically about people that show remorse, people that reach out to you and you're like, you, you, sh you shrug your, your, your shoulders and say, no, you don't, don't talk to me no more. No, it's over. La, la, la. La, ma yinfa. Ma yinfa. And I found that among the best traits, and skills you can have in your life is interpersonal communication skills. The best trait you can have is getting along with everybody, conversing with everybody, uh, socializing with everybody, you know, being out there. That is a quality that is gold. It's a quality that will help you by the will of Allah survive this wild world we're living in. And it will help you by the will of Allah overcome a lot of hurdles and obstacles that you will face in life. At work, in your personal life, with your family. Nothing is better than being a person who's able to get along with everybody. Not that you will not have issues here and there. But overall, you just know how to socialize and how to talk to people. You have friends everywhere. You have acquaintances everywhere. You know, you're not stuck up. You're not a snob. You know, you don't know. Sometimes, sometimes being cool with the security guard is, is, the, is the best thing you could have. Seriously. If a security guard is, a, you know, in a building where you work, you see him every day, you build a connection with this person. Yo, man, how's it going, man? Salam alaikum. Hope you're doing well, man. How's life treating you? Da, 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 da. Just anything. Some people look at the security guard as a, as a, as a trash bag. Uh, his job is to only come in and open the, the gate for you so you can get in. And they just, they feel they're snobs because they're sitting in their fancy luxur luxurious car. And this guy, who is this guy? His salary is what? Nothing. What is edu what education he has? Nothing. And they treat people like this. And then, you know, when, when there's a problem, if they need to tow a car, they tow in the car of this snob. You hook up with this uh, uh, security guard just because you're a nice person. Not that you're... Uh, you know, you're planning ahead that you're going to create a problem and then he will save you. It's just because it's your personality. But when, that, when something like that does happen, guess what? If there's an issue and the guy sees you say, hey, yo, that's my man, man. It's okay, yo, let's work it out. Boom. They work it out. They were going to tow your car. They won't. They'll cut you some slack. There's, there's room for talking. There's room for communication. 
Hook up with people. Become friends with people. Different departments. Different walks of life. People from different disciplines. It will, it will facilitate your life. And it's all ba based on Islamic behavior. And it's based on being able to pardon and forgive. Because if you can't pardon and forgive, then you will not be able to have these kind of relationships. Because every time someone hurts you, and they will, you're going to throw a fit, and you're going to be upset, and you're going to shun this person for the rest of your life. Now I ain't trying to talk to you no more, man. It's over, man. You're a nice guy, but I can't, no, we can't be talking no more. No, no, come on, man. That's nasty. If the person doesn't care, that's a different story. But if a person is trying to, trying to make uh, amendments, trying to fix things, he can't be a, a arrogant person and just be like, no, I'll forgive you. You forget you. You want Allah's forgiveness. Forgive them, man. Bismillah.